Dividing polynomials using long division is similar to dividing regular numbers. Both involve dividing, multiplying, and subtracting step by step. Let's divide 357 by 12. Since 12 can go into 3, we move to 35 next. So 35 divided by 12 will give you 2 point something, so we know that 12 can go into 35 maximum 2 times. Then you're going to multiply 2 times 12 is 24. Then you're going to subtract 24 from 35, which will give us 11. And now we bring down the next term, which is 7. So 117 divided by 12 is 9 point something. So we know that 12 can go into 117 9 times. Then you multiply 9 times 12 is 108 and subtract, and that will give you the remainder of 9. So the final answer for 357 divided by 12 is 29 and with the remainder of 9 out of the divisor, which is 12. And we know that 9 over 12 is the same thing as 3 fourths, so this is equivalent to 29.75. We can use the same process when dividing polynomials. Since our polynomials are already written in descending order of exponents, with no exponents missing, we can go ahead and divide these polynomials using long division. So we're dividing ax cubed plus 6x squared plus 26x minus 12 by 4x minus 1. So you're going to take your first term ax cubed and divide it by 4x. So a divided by 4 is 2. And when you divide, you subtract the exponents. So x cubed divided by x will give you x squared. Then you multiply 2x squared by 4x minus 1. That is ax cubed minus 2x squared. And when you subtract, change the signs for all the terms. So this will be negative and this will become positive. So then ax cubed becomes 0, so that disappears. And now you just need to add the x squared terms, so that will give us ax squared. And you bring down the next term, which is positive 26x. So now you repeat that same process again. Take the first term, ax squared, divided by 4x, and that's going to give us positive 2x. Then multiply 2x times 4x is ax squared. 2x times negative 1 is negative 2x. When we subtract, change all the signs, negative here, positive here. And ax squared disappears. So when we add the x's together, that will give us 28x. And now we just need to bring down the last term, which is negative 12. So now we take 28x divided by 4x, that will give us positive 7. 7 times 4x is 28x. 7 times negative 1 is negative 7. When we subtract, change the signs, and 28x disappears. Negative 12 plus 7, that will give us remainder of negative 5. So the final answer for this division is 2x squared plus 2x plus 7 with a remainder of negative 5 over the divisor, which is 4x minus 1. For this problem, notice that we're missing the x squared term in the dividend and the x term in the divisor when our polynomials are written in the descending order of exponents. So to ensure everything aligns properly when dividing these polynomials in long division, we will add a placeholder term for the missing exponents. So I'm going to rewrite this problem as 6x to the fourth minus 2x to the cube, and it's missing the x squared term, so you're going to add 0 as the coefficient for the x squared term, plus 3x and minus 5. And then for the divisor, we have x squared. Again, it's missing the x term, so you're going to add plus 0x 
and then plus 2. So now you're going to take your first term, 6x to the fourth, divided by x squared. That is 6x squared. And now you're going to multiply, so that will give us 6x to the fourth plus 0x to the third power plus 12x squared. So again, when we subtract, you have to change the signs for each term. So this will be negative, and 0 is going to become negative, and 12 will also become negative. So when we subtract, the 6x to the 4th cancels out. So now we're going to combine the rest of the like terms. So we have negative 2x to the 3rd power minus 12x squared, and you bring down the next term, which is positive 3x. So now we are going to take negative 2x to the cube divided by x squared. That will give us negative 2x. Then multiply. So that will be negative 2x to the third power plus 0x squared minus 4x. So when we subtract, change all the signs. So this will be positive. This is negative, And this will become positive. So that will give us 2x cubed cancels out. So we have negative 12x squared plus 7x. And now we're going to bring down our last term, which is negative 5. Negative 12x squared divided by x squared will give us negative 12. And now we're going to multiply. So that will give us negative 12x squared plus 0x minus 24. So again, when we subtract, change all the signs. So this will be positive, And this will be negative, And this will be positive. So therefore, we're going to have a remainder of 7x plus 19. The final answer for this problem will be 6x squared minus 2x minus 12 with a remainder of 7x plus 19 over the divisor, which is x squared plus 2.